Kessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Clemson Tigers and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here comes the Crimson Tide. The Tigers are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Alabama looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. Oh, Kirk. There's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. I'm taking Hammer. Roll Tide. game as the players line up for the kick and he got all of this one great kick number 22 fields it in the end zone this quarterback is the leader of this team but he's going to need some help from his offensive line today as they go up against a very good pass rush you got that right, Brad. He's the focal point of this offense, and the defensive line knows it. They're going to be coming after him hard today. When you're as good as this kid is at playing quarterback, there's definitely a bullseye painted on your chest. We'll see how he handles the pressure. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 24. The Tide come out in the ace formation. Here's a draw. Shifty move there. He's got an opening. And he's tackled. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Two tight ends here. the middle and he's gonna lose yards on this one boy he is one big guy down there on that defensive line oh man the big fella's a hoss I saw him last night at the hotel and he had three bags of food going up to his room yo it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now number 12 has four receivers lined up here drop back to pass he's going left and it's caught they just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. It's third down and four to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 34 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Here's a pitch, left side. A little shake and bake move. Gets the tackle. And they make the stop. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Ready to put this one away. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number two calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 10-yard line. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. They'll start this drive at the 10. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. And here's a quick throw. Complete. And they got him for a loss. Three-yard loss there. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on their own seven. 
Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. He's looking. He tosses it short, and it's caught. They'll bring him down. Four yards gain. Third and nine. Ball on the 11. And the impact receiver is in the zone right now. Looks. Hit as he throws. He got it. He goes down. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. From the gun. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Somehow gets the ball away. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. He drops back. Throws to the middle. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looking. He rolls out to the right. Throws this one out to the right. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Play, makes a move. He's got an opening. And he's tackled. And the tailback almost broke it there. That's just being a phenomenal athlete. He took the handoff on the draw play and made some pretty impressive moves and got a ton of yards. Good thing that defender got close to him because that guy was going for six. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. It's ruled out. Well, he almost had it, but tight ends usually aren't the most graceful players on the field. Number six lines up in the shotgun. Inside give, broke away from one. He jukes, touchdown, Clemson. Coach, that was a nice run by the halfback. Yeah, it sure was. First of all, you got a big, powerful offensive line blocking for you. Then you got a back who wants to find the end zone. What's that equal? Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac.
they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll set up shop at the 14. First and 10. Number 12 is back in the gun. A little misdirection. Got an opening. Breaks one. And he's taken down. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. First and 10, ball on the 30. Yeah. Alabama goes with the ace set here. There's a play fake. He's looking. He's rolling right. Throws. Incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Number 34 is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. tailback. Gets past the Pittsburgh. Tackle. And a pickup of about seven. Seven yard gain on the play. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 37 yard line. Alabama will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll give it off here. And they make the stop. So he got enough for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. It's first and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Alabama lines up with three receivers. Steps up. He wants it all going long. Got it. He's all the way down to the 24. Who those sticks? That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and 10. Ball on the 24. Alabama comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He's hit and got away. And he stopped behind the line. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback on the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number 12 is in the zone and looking to make a play. A little juke. And down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Clemson 7, Alabama nothing. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number 34 wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Got it. And he's taken down. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. Jumbo set here. They'll try to power it to the fullback. Touchdown, Alabama! So it's the big hoss on the score. I think the fullback deserved to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working 
hard for everybody else to like a glorified offensive lineman. Never get any recognition. the PAT. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, Alabama 7, Clemson 7. Off. He kicks it. Number two fields it in the end zone. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll go to work at the 27-yard line. Two tight end set. And he's going to be sacked. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass to the head. Let him get behind the rush and then pick off behind his blockers for six. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on their own 24. Number six with three wide receivers. Short toss. And that one's fallen incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Third down, 13. Ball on 24. One man backfield. Nice play fake. He's rolling left. Down the middle. It's dropped. Nice pass. Just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you've got to catch the easy ones. the punt. He gets it off. Number four. Fields it at the 40. Guys, their last possession. They really had good success passing the ball. Hey, if you ask me, I'd air it out some more. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Setting up the play action, and they get the sack. How about the athletic move by that kid? Unbelievable for his size. Boy, is he an amazing athlete. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. All on their own 35. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He lets it go. Someone got a hand on it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Looks like he tried to force that. And defense was in his zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. Third down, 15. Ball on the 35-yard line. Line up with four wide out. Looking. He guns it to the left. Complete, and he's on the run. To the 10. Touchdown, Alabama. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you can say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught it very well.
and he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. is lined up to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number two fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 23. Number six comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up. He's under some heat. Across the middle. Incomplete pass. Wow, did he take a hit. Yes, my friend, but he's got to make those catches if he wants to play tight end in the big leagues. Otherwise, just gain a few pounds and become, yo, an offensive lineman. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 23. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. He drops back, steps up, over the middle. This incompletion is credited to the wide end. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and 10. Ball on their own 23. Number six, back in the gun, steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside. They'll bring him down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 30 gets it off. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll get the ball here at the 30-yard line. The Crimson Tide line up with three wide. yards on this one. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! He'll get the call again. Got an opening! The 50 at the 40. Nobody's gonna get him! To the 10. Goodbye! The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Two, fields it in the end zone. He jumps it. 
Do you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. The Tiger come out the shotgun. There's the play fake. Wants to throw outside. Knocked out of bounds. Way to look it in. Nice kick. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number six lines up in the shotgun. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's going to go for the home run. And he's got it. He goes down. Now, that was a good-looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. And now the ball is loose. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. And down he goes. And this turnover is certainly not what they were hoping for. The rich get richer, but let's not write them off just yet. It's still early, but they can't afford to turn the ball over and let this thing get out of hand. They'll take over at the three. I doubt they put the ball in the air in this situation. Play action. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Couldn't haul it in. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You got to give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight end's got to be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Second and ten. They've got their backs against the wall. They line up in the jumbo set. Here's an opening. Tackle. Good running there. In that situation, you're happy if you can get a few yards, but here he busts a nice one for a good pickup. It's first and ten, ball on the 26-yard line. Ace backfield, he drops back. Aaron and out long. Complete and he's on the run. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10, touchdown. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Alabama 28, Clemson 7. Six is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 12 has it at the five. We might.
I see two hands on the ball after their last drive. I mean, if you start thinking too much about fumbling, you become less effective as a runner. They just need to go out there and play their game. They'll set up shot at the 24. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Deep pass down the left side. And it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. They come out with four wide out. Back to pass, steps up, looks, short drop, complete. They'll bring him down. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that he put in pay off. Third and five, ball on their own 29. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Looking. He tosses it short. Almost intercepted. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Clemson, ready to put this one away. Number 30 gets it off. Number four fields it the 31. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? From the gun. Drop back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. That INT puts them in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. You're right, Kirk. Now they got the big MO Mo on their side. get the ball here at the 32-yard line. Clemson comes out with an eye formation. Setting up the play action, and it falls incomplete. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it, because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. Second and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He unloads it. And it's caught. Can't wrap him up. Brought down. Clemson takes a timeout. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun, drops back to pass. He's looking, throws it to the outside. And they finally knock him out at the three-yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. Since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Looks like he'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Setting up the play action. He steps up, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Clemson calls a timeout.
the Tiger with four receivers. He drops back, steps up, throws this one out to the left. He's knocked out of bounds. Superb catch by the wide receiver for the score. the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Alabama 28, Clemson 14. is ready to kick it away. Here's the kick. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. Jukbu. Now the offense is back on the field again. In their last drive, they moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. They'll go to work at the 15-yard line. Lines up in a double tight set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 24. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Alabama 28, Clemson 14. to kick number 12 and number two back ready to return kicks it off number 12 fields it in the end zone so before the offense hits the field let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by ea sports they'll take over at the 21 yard line Trips right. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Fires across the middle. Got it to his receiver. And he's brought down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. Back to pass. Throw short. Complete. Knocked out of bounds. Nothing going on that one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. The Tiger go with the I formation. Tries to juke. Tackle. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. First and ten. Ball on the 36. High four 
formation here. Appear on the ground again. And they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. And the snap goes to the back. And they make the stop. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Gain of six on the play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 31. the shotgun. There's the play fake. He steps up, looks, over the middle, and he's taken down. The pressure turns up when in the red zone. And that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short, and it's caught. Knocked out of bounds. They gained five yards there. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Another run. And he's tackled. A one-yard gain on the play. impact receiver is looking to make a play he's in the zone he might not be able to get the pass off he's going right it's tipped and that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected that's great defense right there brad that's something the coaches always remind their players to do get a hand up in the face of the quarterback number seven into attempt the short field goal He gets it up, and it's wide right. No good. They'll start this drive at the 20. The Alabama Crimson Tide take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Let Alabama lines up in a double tight set. Trying to power it with a fullback. A little shake and bake move. Brought down. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. <laughs> on the ground with a tailback. Makes a move. He's hit. Got away. They'll bring him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 33. The Tide come out in the ace formation. Steps up, looking, guns it across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third and eight. Ball on the 33. The 
Crimson Tide come out in a bunch formation. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. Incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. Alabama ready to put this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number two fields it at the 19. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 33. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Throw. That a ball. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number six is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. A little handoff, shakes off a tackle. And he's taken down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Third and eight. Ball on their own 35. Single set back to you. He drops back. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Got it. Brought down. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Number six is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He lobs it left. Incomplete pass. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Second and ten. Ball on the 44. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. He steps up looking. Throws this one out to the left. Batted ball. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. Fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 30 gets it off. Number four fields it for 17. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 26. And the defensive end is looking to make a play. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. That'll be a two-yard gain. Uh, 
And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Alabama 28, Clemson 14. Third and two coming up here. Ball in the 28. Alabama will line up in a jumbo set here. Inside handoff. Oh, what a move. Here's an opening, and he's taken down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and 10. Ball on the 41. The tide come out in the ace formation. They go with a toss. And he stopped behind the line. That toss had no room to work as the defense had the hot pursuit. Man, they just scorched the field to get to him. I can see where the turf is gone. Second and 12 coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Inside give. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They would come with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. So another third down facing the offense, and this one is third and long. Alabama comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. They line up to pump this one away. Number 25 gets it off. Number two fields it at the 24, and he is drilled. He may have been seriously injured on that play. Yeah, he's definitely in a lot of pain down there. You really hate to see something like that happen. They'll go to work at the 34. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. And he shoved out of bounds. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Come out with three wide receivers. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He wants it all going long. And he drops it. And the wideout is kicking himself after that effort. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Tigers line up with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 48. Number six is back in the gun. Back to pass. Here they come. Looks. And he's going to come up with a sack. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. 
Penalty is declined. Fourth down. one away. Punts the ball away. Number four. Fields it at the 19. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. Crimson Tide come to the line with their jumbo package. Cut. 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 They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop about eight yards there. Second and two. Ball right around midfield. Alabama comes out with two tight ends. On the ground with the tailback. Sheds that one. And he's taken down. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. Clemson takes a timeout. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 44. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. Go with the run once again. And down he goes. Clemson calls a timeout. The defense calls a timeout. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 43. The tide with four receivers. And the snap goes to the back. This tackle. Here's an opening. And he's taken down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and ten. Ball in the 29. And if anyone can make a play on defense, it's the defensive end down there. tailback a little juke and he's hit hard guys he just hit the 200 yard mark for the ball game uh, he's running all over this defense they clearly weren't prepared for this type of game plan second and three coming up and this is the seventh play of the current drive they come out in a goal line set they go with the run. He jukes him. Brought down. Those buffet bashers are doing a heck of a job on this drive. And by the way, the way they're opening up those holes for the running back, you could say they're eating their defensive line lunch.
another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. chapter in NCAA football 2006 and our final count Alabama 28 Clemson 14 for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye we'll catch you next time